OS trading on the NASDAQ, $1.75. We have not taken a look at this one uh, before, but it might be, you know, it's kind of like at one of those pivotal points right now, guys. If we go ahead and set this up here, you're going to be at a support level. And I'll zoom in here in just a moment to kind of give you guys a better idea. So uh, looking off of that right there, there is a big gap up here. Obviously, uh, something happened over here to trigger a big drop off. And it looks like it's going to be the earnings from 11 November 7th. You guys closed at $2.61 and you guys opened at $1.75. I mean, it's a big drop, obviously, over a dollar, just about a dollar, just under 80 cent drop. Uh, you guys tried to recover that over here on the earnings report from 3.6. It didn't quite make it happen. So what's going on right now is that you guys have broken uh, all levels of support that I would have liked to see to hold here. That you can see that right here, the 10, 20, and 30 day simple moving averages. Those are the uh, moving averages I personally follow uh, to, you know, obviously keep it above, to keep it bullish. There is a large gap now uh, between the dollar seventy six, okay. Now this at dollar seventy five, and the dollar forty five. Keep that in mind. There is a big gap here. Uh, the volume has dropped off. The interest doesn't pick up. It could very well come back down here. So if we take a look at after this drop, you know this is kind of one of those tricky ones here that we can kind of put this up here. Okay, look at that trend line that's kind of formed here, coming up, trying to climb its way back up here. So we're going to be watching for a bounce off of this dollar seventy-five area. It's going to be a must-hold. If that doesn't fall, or that doesn't hold, rather, it could end up going down. If it goes down to the dollar sixty-six, I can almost guarantee you a dollar forty-five is going to come. So you're right now going to be at that pivotal point, in my opinion, and we're going to need to get this thing back up to a dollar seventy-seven either today or tomorrow. If the buying doesn't pick back up and that breaks, dollar sixty-six and a dollar forty-five will follow. A lot going on here with this chart. Yeah, so what day was that that you said the, the big drop? Let's see. November 7th. Was that, okay. Yeah, so they, they, um, they had a press release on March 3rd, 2017. It was Bios Bioscript Reports fourth quarter and full year 2016 financial results. So Bioscript Incorporated announced its fourth quarter and full year 2016 financial results. The fourth quarter, the company reported revenue from continuing operations of 240 million, one, two, 240.1 million. Net loss from continuing operations of 5.2 million and diluted EPS of 0 0.06 loss per share. For the full year of 2016, the company reported revenue from continuing operations of 935 million so it's like 935.6 million net loss from continuing operations of 34.4 million and diluted eps of 0.46 loss per share so the uh fourth quarter highlights net revenue for the fourth quarter 2016 was 240.1 million a decrease of 3.6 million or 1.5 percent year over year reflecting the ongoing favorable shift in remit revenue mix to a greater percentage of core revenue and much and less lower margin non-core revenue. So core revenue increased 21.9 million or 15.1% year over year to 166.8 million, representing core mix of 70%, up from 60% core mix in the quarter of 2015. In the fourth quarter of 2015. So uh it states we are on track to achieve the full 17 million in 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 a home solution synergies we expect to achieve an additional 23 to 25 million in cost reductions by the year end of 2017 these additional savings include workforce optimization and reorganization procurement and formulary management savings improve asset utilization enhance nursing productivity and reduction of delivery costs consolidated loss from continuing operations net income taxes was negative uh 5.2 million an improvement of 11.8 million compared to the prior year fourth quarter consolidated loss from continuing operations so a net of income taxes of a loss of 
zero million. The year over year reduction in loss was the result of improved operating results combined with lower restructuring costs. Consolidated adjusted EBI TDADA uh, was 9.5 million for the fourth quarter of 2016 as compared to the 9 million consolidated adjusted in the prior year fourth quarter. The year over year increase in consolidated adjusted EBI TDDA uh, was the result of an improved core mix, higher gross margins, and expense leverage in 2016. So uh, they stated that I am extremely pleased with the great results of the results the BioStrip team delivered during the quarter. The Daniel Greenleaf, President and Chief Executive Officer, are focused on driving profitable growth, improving operating processes, and realizing operating cost reductions and synergies generated both revenue and adjusted. Uh, EB EBDA results uh, for the quarter ahead of prior expectations. We are in the early stages of our 18 to 24 month turnaround initiative and through ongoing work the BioScript team continues to uncover opportunities to drive transformational change and unlock value throughout the organization. BioScript remains on pace to realize at least 17 million of cumulative home solutions cost synergies by the end of 2017. And we expect an increment 23.0 million to 25 million in cost structure improvements during the year, a portion of which partial offsets the negative impact of Cures Act legislation. So uh, Mr. Greenleaf added, during the quarter, our leadership team launched the core initiative of a program focused on improving core growth, operation of efficiency, revenue collections, and employee effectiveness. Continue execution of the core initiative pro positions BioScript for the sustainable growth of our higher margin core business and ongoing improvement of the operating process driving our future financial performance and greater value for our shareholders. So, I mean, he keeps going on too about different things. So, and then it goes into the fourth quarter prior years and everything else. So there's more, this thing's like extensive. You want to go through and read this one, obviously especially if you're interested in this particular thing, because I only read a portion of it, All right? So that's on the, uh, you go right over to the BIOS board on Investor Tangent, and you see on the recent news, you'll see it right there on the March 3rd, 2017. That's the one for at 7.45 a.m. If you uh, if you want to continue doing your due diligence, go right into the filings as well. If you have an opinion on a company, just post it right up there on the BIOS board on Investor Tangent with the tens of thousands of like-minded investors that we have using the site daily. All right, now I want to add one more thing here uh, with the chart. So $1.75 needs to hold this level here, in my opinion, a break of $1.66. $1.45 can come fast. Support at $1.74, $1.66, and $1.45. Resistance at $1.84, $1.96, and $2.13. Has a history of bouncing right below the 30-day simple moving average. Look at right here. Same exact candle right below the 30-day simple moving average, and look at what happened right afterwards. Granted, yes, there was earnings on there, but I'm just pointing that out so you guys know. It's also done it over here as well. Uh, looking under here, yeah. So that's going to be the last time it's done it. But hey, it's got that history of doing it. So definitely keep this one on your watch. And as always, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. If you feel that you've learned anything from this video, we'd appreciate it. And if you have a hot stock other than BIOS that you would like to share with us, you can do so at investorshangout.com forward slash live.